All right, hello everybody. I wish you were here with me today. And I hope you're staying well and you've got everything you need, but I know one thing you need and that's your gentle strength class. So let's get started with a warm up, just the same way we always do. We're gonna do our easy welcome to my home. So extend those arms, bring one foot back, bring the other hand back, turn your head and look at the fingers and step it back. Now remember, if balance is an issue for you, you can always keep the foot out a little wider. If it's a good balance day, then keep it right in line. Pull that navel in, keep your shoulders square. Let's call this eight and nine and 10. Step it up, now to the other side, stretch back. And two, and really reach, reach, reach. Because remember, we're getting the body all limber, getting it ready for what comes next. And six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And from here, reach big through the fingertips again and squat back, touch the floor. And two, and three. Oh, come on, I know you like this one. And four, and five. Keep the knees behind the toes. Six, draw the shoulder blades down. And eight, and nine, and 10. All right, from here, we're gonna work with very limited things because I'm not sure what all of you have at home. But as far as weights go, you can always grab like a bottle of water or some canned goods, but take one of those, or even for this one, since it's just one, if you've got a, a jug of say laundry detergent with a handle on it, go ahead and grab it. We are going to flashlight. As you know, the further away from the body, the more difficult it is and twist. One minute of flashlight. Extend it all the way around. Shoulder square. You've got your navel pulled in. And if this gets to be too much for you with that full jug of whatever your laundry detergent is, or milk, or water, go ahead and pull it in closer to the body. But you're still twisting from the, right, from the waist. Your knees are soft. And keep twisting. We are almost there. 30 seconds and twist, and twist, and twist. Keep going, so close. And 15 more seconds, knees are soft. Twist at the waist. And the last five, three, two, and one. And put that down. Time for that big breath. Inhale up, fill your lungs with air, exhale down. Big, big, big breath. Heart rate was up, now we have to lower it down. Cause as you know, we can't keep that heart rate going at the red zone the whole time. You gotta bring it down to bring it back up. All right, little march in place. We're sliding out of the warm up and going into a more active warm up. So it's march. We're gonna march and then do peekaboos. So your hands are in front, and open, and open, and open, and open, and open, and open. Slower the march, but you've got the arms going. Keep the elbows square, square, palms are in, square, shoulders down. And then from here, we're going to those glute kicks. So arms are crossing in front, heels to your glutes, heels to your glutes. And we're doing this one for 30 seconds. Keep the arms going, strong arms, strong arms. You know guys, I must really like you because I'm going out of my comfort zone to do this for you. And I really wish you were here. And go, and go, heel the glutes, heel the glutes, heel the glutes. And now from here, and four, three, two, we're gonna do punch across. So strong arms, twist at the waist. As you extend that fist, come up on to your toes, turn in the heel up, singles for now, punch, 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 
punch. Keep it going. And now we're gonna switch it to doubles. Punch, 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 punch. Punch, 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 and back to singles. And then in about five seconds or so, we're gonna take it to that wide stance and do push pulls. Right here, toes churned out, knees stay behind the toes, and it's push, pull, push, pull. Keep the knees back, you're pushing that wall away, and you're pushing and pulling. Push, pull, push, pull. Go, 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 push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And then, while holding this pose, punch, punch, so you're churning from your waist. Punch, 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 punch. Strong arms. Remember, you're punching like someone just stole your purse, you followed it into an alley, and you want the purse back. So you punch, and you punch, and you punch, and you punch. Let's go a little stronger. They stole your dog. Punch, 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 punch. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, and then come on up. From here, we're just gonna finish up one last warm up with a balance. So your heart rate's up. We're gonna take a couple of breaths. Exhale down. Because before we start balance, we wanna make sure that that's our focus. And as you know, every day, balance is a little bit different. Each side's a little bit different. It depends on how much you've slept, what you're thinking about, hydration, all those things factor in. So if today is a bad balance day or a rough balance day, Go ahead and hold on to a chair or the wall. So bring a knee up, shoulders are back, and circle. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop right here. Let's go the other direction. Remember, it's as if you have a paintbrush on the end of your knee and you are drawing circles on the wall in front of you. And seven, eight, nine, ten, and stop, and straighten, press through the heel, and then bend, and circle, and circle the other way, and one more time, straighten that foot, and bring it down, so to the other side, each side is different on its ease of balancing, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then go the other way. That was a good example of find a spot, focus on it, a spot that doesn't move, and it helps you balance. And stop, and straighten, and bend again, and circle, and circle the other way, and straighten, and bring it down. All right, everyone ready for arms? So I'll give you an opportunity to go grab a couple of cans or grab some water bottles and we'll get started on our arms. Okay, very light weights for this one. We've done it before and hopefully remember it. So it's scrunch up and down for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, make the circles a little bigger. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now on to the next set. And if even your water bottles or the weights you have at home are feeling heavy, it is all right to do this one without weights because they will get heavy as the sets go on. The next set with palms down, slowly. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Now hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time slowly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next set, palms are facing each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Final set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, go a little higher this time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time, reach them up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Put those down, bring an arm across. Hug it in, the nearer to the wrist, the deeper the stretch. Make sure your palm is up. And now the other side. Again, hugging that arm in. You've got one wrist against the other wrist. Palms up. And then bring it down and roll, roll, roll the shoulders back and roll the shoulders forward. And then from here, we're gonna interlace the fingers squeezing your shoulder blades together, press palms together, lift your chin, lift your chest, and then bring them down, and one more, roll, 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 and roll forward. So let's go on to triceps. If you wanna grab that jug of detergent or your jug of water or milk, as long as it has a handle, bring your elbows to the ceiling and you're holding on to either one weight, no weight, or something heavy. And it's one, two, three, reach your hands, then the elbows, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna take this one to fifteen. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down again. Roll, roll, roll. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Roll forward. And if you want to go grab that glass of water, you can always do that during this. Another deep breath. And once again, with the one heavy weight, come into the chair pose. You've got the weight in your hand and bring it through. Keeping low, keeping knees behind the toes, keeping your back as upright as you can. And all right, now I'll start counting. One and two and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, roll the shoulders back again, taking deep breaths the whole time. We're gonna go on to some basics. This one can be done as a balance, or if you don't wanna balance, keep both feet on the ground, but one foot can come up and lock one of the arms into your side with the squared up with your elbow square and we're going to go from bottom to middle for one two three nice and slow squeeze that bicep when it comes to the middle just like you're holding a serving tray six and seven now from here still with your serving tray arm it's one squeeze the bicep two three four five six, seven, now all the way down, 
all the way up and curl and squeeze. And two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And bring it down. Now we're going on to the other side. So the other foot is up. Again, one side may be easier to balance on than the other. And lock that elbow in. Keep the palm up, bottom to middle. One, two. By balancing on one leg, you're also working your core because your body is fighting to stay upright. Five, six, seven. Stop here. Squeeze the bicep at the top. And two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way down. Shoulders squared all the way back up for one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Bring it down and roll back. And from here, just a little arm raises. So plant your feet, shoulder distance apart, and come up, keep the palms out. Don't come up above your shoulders though, just slightly below, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take this one to 12. Eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Bring it down, roll, roll, roll the shoulders back. And to complete our arm series, we're not gonna do the full four minutes of our new four minute arm workout, but we're gonna do a truncated version of it doing um, the moves that we've been doing for the last few weeks. So let's start out with just pulses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now it's those hammer curls for one, two, three, four. Remember your arms don't come down at any time, they stay upright. And also remember what she told us, we gots to do this and nine, and 10. And now it's crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Back to pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to curls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it's tap and down, tap and down, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm putting mine down to continue the rest. And it's hold your hands out and open and close. Pitter patter here with your light weight or not. And then back two. Pull back and out, pull back and out. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and tap and down and tap and down and three and down and four and down and five and down and six down, seven squeeze, eight down, nine down, 10 down. And then if you're still holding on those weights, circle two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, we're almost there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now more of the pitter pat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Roll, roll, roll. And bring the arm across. Hug it in one more time. Now the other way. 
Remember, keep those lights way for that, very light for that one because they get very, very heavy, very, very fast. And again, with the interlace your fingers, pull the hands down and release and inhale and reach it up. And then come down with the arms, big breath here again and bring it down. And now give you time to come to the floor. If you have a mat or a blanket or something that you can lie on, we will do some legs and some core together. All right, we are going to do two rounds of this and I've got my note cards, everybody. So I know I won't forget any of these. Um, this is the one that has modifications with it. So we're gonna start out with 20 jumping jacks with weights. Now remember the modifications, if you don't want to jump up, you can simply step out and push them up. You don't even have to lift them up if that's more than what your shoulders will want you to do. You can hold them steady and just tap out. So two rounds, here we go, M1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woohoo! And now moving right along with these two rounds, 10 each side. Oh gosh, um, the teacups with a weight in one hand. So you're holding your weight in front and you're coming back and then bringing it up. You can touch down if you want to. Try not to. And that's two. Shoulders are square. That's three. And back for four. Come down just so you feel that stretch behind your leg. And seven. And eight. And nine and 10. And then switch it to the other side, same thing. And bring one leg back and up. Let the weight come down. Remember, try not to rely on momentum. Try to go nice and slow and smooth. That makes your muscles work even harder because you're balancing and so your core gets involved. And six. And right now I have no idea what number we're on, so we'll just call this eight and nine and 10. Okay, moving right along, we are going to do oh, the high pulls and straight to the floor. So here we go for 10. It's up, then reach down, up, let it come down, up, reach down four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, you know how I hate it when I can't read my own writing. Let's see, it looks like 10, oh yeah, okay, 10 leg lifts each side. So we're gonna start with whatever side you want, just as long as the next time you do the other leg. We only have two, we can't mess this up. So it's one, two, three. Try to keep your body upright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we did that side, let's go on to the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, shoulders stay down, and eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm just getting right through these. So now it's, oh, I know, this one gets a little confusing. So come into chair, hold the weight out, we're gonna tap forward, side, and back, and then bring it back to the front. Right leg first, 
forward, side, back. Stay down in the chair. So that's two. And three. Knees stay behind the toes, four. And five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And this was 10. On to the other side. Again, knees are behind your toes, feet are about hip distance apart. You're holding that weight in front of you. Extend the foot for one, two, three, and stay low, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and finally, that was 10. All right, come back up. Okay, now we're gonna do just regular old bicep curls. Just one, two, don't forget that squeeze at the top, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, we're gonna do squat. So you can either put the weights to your shoulders or hold them under your chin but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, you get a break because I'm tying my shoelace while I'm reading the next one. Shoulder press with palms facing each other. It's our regular pulses. So for 10, one, Small move, try to keep those arms parallel. Five, six, lift, eight, nine, 10, we have 10 more, 10, nine, eight, the audience goes wild, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're back to the ballet squat. So your feet are out. Either hold your weights to your shoulders or under your chin, and we're back and up, and back and up. Press through your toes when you come up and down for four and five. Knees are behind those toes, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. So after the ballet squat, now we have Arm raises once again. Palms are out. Up and down. Don't take them above the shoulder line. And three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And back to regular old squats. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think we have one more before we start this all over again. Um, now since that's with the band, we will just go straight to the mat. And with your one weight in hand, come into table. So your knees are right below your hips, your hands are below your shoulder, and extend the left leg. Your, you wanna bring the hand with the weight in it up to your side and back. Two, three, four, five, six. Strong arms, keep that leg up two, nine, and 10. Bring it down to the other side. Extend the right leg. Remember, the leg is strong as if you're ringing a doorbell with your toe. Bring the arm up and it's back for two, three, four, five, six, pull the navel in, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. We have one more set of these. Leg is out, arm is up and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, bring it down, back to the other leg, up and close to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we're back for the second round of what we just did. So we started out with those jumping jacks, 20 of those jumping jacks. Remember the modifications. You don't have to push up. You don't have to jump. You can simply tap your foot out, and that works too, or push them up and tap. Okay, yeah. um, I'm, see, I feel like I'm with my group right now, so this is how we all kind of talk, so. Yeah. All right, we've got that done. Now it's time for core, so hopefully you still have that mat or something you can lie down on, because we're gonna hit the floor, thanks. Okay, we're gonna start out easy with the feet together and your butterfly legs. You've got your hands supporting your head, Remember, your elbows are wide and keep that fist different distance between your chin and your chest, or think of an orange, but you don't want to compress. You don't want to be pulling on your neck. You want to be looking up, and here we go. This is going to be a very short, small move. So it's up for two inches and back just for one. So up and back, up and back. You should feel this in your upper abs. You should feel them contract. It's quick but it's very powerful. So seven, eight, nine, keep the elbows out, and 12, 13, 14, 15, feel, feel those contractions, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, chin still has a distance there, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now from here, you're going to hover your legs, hover your arms, and the opposite foot and the opposite arm meet, kind of meet each other or go in that general direction. So here's one, two, keep your shoulder blades grazing, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, four, three, two, and one. And as always, take a moment to relax. We bring your knees in, rock side to side, rock forward and back. Kind of give a little massage there to those internal organs when you're massaging your back like this. And then come to sitting. From here, with or without your weight, we're gonna go into twists. 30 taps. You can either keep your heels down or you can bring them up. You want to make sure you're raising the weight high over your head. Here we go. One, two. I lost count already. We'll call this five. And six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, so if you're sitting down, get hands behind you for support. We're gonna go for a little bicycle ride, just like you're riding a bike. You didn't know we were going to Cleveland though, but that's what it's gonna feel like. So keep riding, riding, riding. If this is too easy for you and you have your weight nearby, you can always hold it out. And now backwards. We gotta get home some way. Couple more of these. 
How about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woohoo! All righty. From here, let's go back with the feet on the mat and your knees are bent. Shoulder blades are grazing. As you know, your core muscles are not just the front of your abs, but they're that whole girdle of muscles all the way around. So to work our core or our obliques, we're gonna extend your arms and tap. Tap your ankle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, and again, take a moment, bring the knees into stretch, rock side to side, and then slip your palms under your hips. Now, remember this one, you do not want your low back to come off the mat. So your personal range of motion is that moment when you start to feel your back lift, that's where you stop. So rest your head, bring your feet to the ceiling, then drop them down slowly till you feel that point. When you get through, stop, and we're gonna do crisscrosses for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now sweep the feet back to the ceiling, rest your head. Inhale, exhale, drop them down, and butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet together to the ceiling, rest your head. Inhale, exhale, drop them down. And now it's knees to chest for one, extend the legs, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest your head, sweep the feet to the ceiling, lower them down, and now the crisscross ladder. One, two, three, cross those legs up, cross them back down, four, toes are pointed, legs are strong, five, six, seven, eight, Almost there. Nine. And 10 up and 10 down and sweep to the ceiling. Lower your head and bring your knees in. Rock side to side. And since we're down here, we're gonna do one more arm exercise. You're on your side. The arm that's on the floor goes around your waist. The other arm is by your shoulder. Make sure the bottom half of your body is nice and relaxed. And we press up. And if you want to touch down, you can. If not, maintain that pressure, that tension as you stop halfway, sort of. So you're kind of hovering. So it's three and four. Press through the arm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now flip to the other side. Again, the arm that's on the floor, wraps around your waist, other end up by your shoulder, legs are relaxed, and press. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And from here, Want to bend the right leg, bring it to the outside of the left knee, which is a little twist. Start to take things down a bit. We worked it all, we got the heart rates up, we got them back down. So now we're kind of easing into our cool down. So with that knee bent, take the left arm, hug the knee, right arm comes behind you. Shoulders are very square and turn your chin all the way around. With every inhale, imagine that someone is pulling through the top of your head with a cord and stacking each one of your vertebra, one on top of the other. And then with every exhale, just relax and turn around a little deeper. Inhale, get you taller. 
Exhale, get you twisted more. One more big inhale. One more exhale. And then come to the front. Straighten that right leg. Now it's the left one bent to the outside of the knee. Right arm hugs. Left arm is behind you, pressing into the floor. And sit up tall. Inhale, exhale, turn. Inhale, you're sitting up just a bit more. And when you exhale, you're turning just a bit more. And inhale, and exhale. One more big, 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 big inhale. And one more exhale. And then twist back to the center with both feet on the floor. Come forward, roll up with your head down, chin coming up last. Inhale up, exhale down. Hands are gonna go right above the knees. Press into them. You're pressing, pressing, pressing. Your back is flat and straight. Again, like someone is pulling you. And then exhale down. Inhale, roll all the way up. Roll the shoulders back, back, back. And then from here, it's the balance, the kite. So you're gonna sweep across, point in the toe, reach out the arms, draw the shoulders back, 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 back. And come across the other way. Drawing, squeezing the shoulder blades together, reaching the arms out. Let's go again in the other direction. Lift that foot just a little more. And then over to this side. And then bring it down. Roll back with a big exaggerated roll. Interlace fingers. We are coming to the end here soon. Lifting the hands to the ceiling. Then dropping them just below your shoulder, pressing and rounding. Feel your spine expand. Take them back up, drop the shoulders down, and then drop below again and press. And then release and to the small of your back with your interlaced fingers and lift your head and chest. Release, flatten your palm, you're pressing hard. Then with the other ear, let that shoulder drop, press hard. Just let the arm dangle. Feel all those knots in your neck, release. Press yourself back to the top. Other side, press down hard, drop the ear. And back to the top, and then hug a knee in. And release, hug the other one in. And release, and that big final Fill your lungs all the way down with air. Exhale down. And thank you all for watching, and I hope I get to see you very, very soon from all that I am to all that you are. Namaste.